Um, our third solution today is called Women Texters, and Dewara Oladepo from Nigeria um, is the leader of Women Texters. She is uh, bringing training to underserved communities. She's had amazing success in Nigeria. She's ready to scale this program across Africa to help bring digital and technical skills to women across Africa. This is a much needed set of skills to help enhance careers and livelihoods, and we look forward to hearing from you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tibura, and I work with Tech for Dev. So I'd like to tell you a story about someone, a young lady called Fatima Ahmed. Fatima is one of the beneficiaries of the Women Texas program, and she came, she's come from an underserved community in Ilari in Nigeria. Fatima looks for a job for a really long time and stumbled on the Women Texas program through a friend of ours. She went through our two weeks training program, and at the end of the training, she was able to get an internship placement as a front-end developer with a top software company in Lagos. Three weeks into the internship, Fatima did get selected into the Microsoft Leap Engineering Program, which is Microsoft's commitment towards building women software engineers in Nigeria and in Africa. There are a lot of women out there who want to be just like Fatima, but do not have access to the requisite skills to do so. And this is because there's a huge gender gap between men and women in the technology ecosystem in Nigeria and across Africa. As you can see behind me, for every 10 people in our technology in Nigeria and Africa, nine are men and one is a woman. So the Women Texas program was actually born out of the need to bridge the digital divide between men and women in the technology ecosystem. Our mission is further strengthened by an African proverb that says, if you educate a man, you educate an individual. But if you educate a woman, you educate a nation. Yeah, thank you. So uh, women play a very vital role in economic development, and we think it's very important to provide them access to such opportunities. So talking a bit about the Women Texas program is the Women Texas is an experiential learning program for women within the ages of 16 to 40, uh, teaching them digital and deep tech skills in across five tracks, web and mobile development, games development, uh, internet of things, data science, and artificial intelligence. And we did this with three objectives in mind. We wanted the women to get access to jobs. We wanted them to study STEM at a more advanced level. And we wanted them to actually go start up their own technology businesses. So we did a pilot called the Nigerian Women Texters, and which was done in Nigeria, and we had like tremendous results. We've trained over 2,475 women across 12 communities in 12 states in Nigeria, and 25% of them are currently uh, have, um, are in a STEM-related course right now in universities and advanced level. 70% of them are started careers in STEM, and 5% of them are starting their own businesses at sort of like an MVP level. Uh, here are some of the partners that made this possible for us, Microsoft, GIZ, and some of the state governments in Nigeria. And so I know the big question in people's minds are, how many more Fatimas can we train? Are there job opportunities for them out there? I would say a big yes. According to the IFC, by 2030, 230 million jobs in sub-Saharan Africa will require digital skills. And hence the reason why we have this ambitious goal where we're going to train 5 million women by 2030 across Africa. So what do we need to get to where we're going? Partners, partners, partners. We need financial partners who could support our learning delivery. We need technology and infrastructure partners such as uh, partners with connectivity that could uh, provide us innovation hubs, uh, corporate partners, and among others. And we also need learning delivery partners that could help us strengthen our curriculum and provide some sort of mentorship for our women. You could follow us at Progress and our work uh, at our website and our social media handles. And we do hope that you help us to be able to get women a place in the future of work. Thank you. OK, if our acceleration partners can please jo join us on stage. Thank you, Dewara. Please introduce yourself. Yeah. My name
my name is Ashit Patel, and I work with Salesforce, uh, where we believe that the business of business is to improve the state of the world. Um, what you're doing is amazing because, as we all know, that a key driver of GDP is a very vibrant, strong, skilled women in workforce. And that's what you enable at scale and with a high, uh, very low cost. Um, you have proven that in Nigeria, and as you guys reach out across the African continent and beyond, I'm looking forward to seeing how you guys develop the tech uh, partnership as well as corporate partnerships to make that happen. And would like to hear more thoughts from you on that. Okay, so thank you. Uh, so um, we're looking to the kind of uh, a bit of partnerships that we're working on in terms of technical partnerships. We're looking for learning delivery, like I said earlier, learning delivery partners. We're looking to strengthen our curriculum. So we're looking for some sort of like uh, organizations that have content. So we're looking towards like building like a larger platform where we can aggregate content for the women to actually uh, go on in their learning phase to actually go learn more on the platform. So it's one thing to come to the program for two weeks. It's another thing because this is a lifelong journey and it's important that there are access to resources for them to be able to go ahead and do this. So that's very important to us. Then the um, mentorship as well for the women, it's very, very important to us. We're looking for uh, organizations who are passionate about women and their development and can serve as some sort of like role models to these women because one of the surveys that we did uh, personally, one of the major uh, uh, reasons why the women said they were not interested in technology was because most of the bro models, right, are male. So we're looking at a situation where we could have more women who could come into the program and show them the girl power and say, you can do this, right? You can become who you want to become and these opportunities out there exist for you. Thank you. I'm Radhika Asha, representing the SDG Philanthropy Platform, which is a global platform launched in eight countries, bringing government, UN, and philanthropy together. I want to applaud the work of uh, women texters in Nigeria, making technology education an equalizer so that we can achieve SDG 5, especially at this moment when we have transformational leaders like uh, the Deputy Secretary General, also from Nigeria, Amina Mohamed, transforming the world. It's exciting to see how you're creating so many others like her. My question is, uh, how can we, the SDG Philanthropy Platform, help with partnerships uh, with UN um, government um, philanthropy? How could we add value? So uh, we're basically looking for, like I said, like partners. Uh, so we're looking more at, for example, within the UN, for example, would be like the UN, UN uh, women. We're also looking at the UNDP. We're also looking at the ITU. They, are very, they will be like very important partners for us to onboard, for us to be able to sort of scale our work. We're also looking for like our government partnerships because we understand the critical role of advocacy and the critical role of having a government support behind you. You're able to go further in terms of implementing the program that way. So those kind of partnerships will be very critical to us and will be helpful. Um, Dura, what you're doing is amazing. Um, and, you know, empowering women. Women drive the economy of the African continent, and that's the reality that we need to face. And um, I really want to know how can I, from Startup Bootcamp, sorry, everyone. <laughs> My name is Matabani from Startup Bootcamp. I really want to know how you can, how we can partner together with you to take women, put them in jobs, and accelerate the technology landscape and innovation landscape across the continent. Okay. So, uh, uh, in terms of the job sped, it's, uh, for us, it's quite important that the women are able to, you know, get into some level of like, uh, how do I put it? So get them into the kind of jobs that are quite important for them in terms of the learning tracks that we had mentioned. So um, in terms of the entrepreneurship bit, we're looking more for our, like, like your organization, like innovation ops that can assist us with mentorship and funding for the women who want to go into the entrepreneurial track, very important for them, such that they can continue with what it is that they've started out. Quite a number of them, like I said, are already at some level of MVP. They are now currently looking for some level of funding to advance the work that they do. So it's very important to us if we can get like access to sort of like innovation hubs that can help us achieve those goals. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.